Hello, this is History Shorts with the Artifactual Scholar. Today, I'll be talking about Italian artist Caravaggio. Michelangelo Merisi da Caravaggio was an artistic genius who reimagined the possibilities of the painted canvas. Yet his genius hit a tempestuous, violent personal life that would lead to tragedy. Caravaggio was born in 1571 outside of Milan, Italy. By the age of six, he had lost his father and shortly would be apprenticed to a local artist, Simone Petrzano. Sometime around 1592, Caravaggio left Milan and headed to the artistic capital of Italy, Rome. There, he worked in the workshops of a series of artists, preparing canvases and painting flowers and fruit. In the mid-1590s, he produced several paintings, including the card sharps from 1594, that brought him to the attention of prominent art patrons in Rome. At about this time, Caravaggio was taken under the patronage of Cardinal Francesco del Monte, who housed the artist and fostered his creativity. From this point, Caravaggio began producing dramatic paintings of religious scenes. In 1597, he received a commission to decorate the Contarelli Chapel in the Church of San Luigi dei Francesi in Rome. The paintings he created, depicting scenes from the life of St. Matthew, would secure his reputation as the greatest artist in Rome. It was at this moment of artistic achievement that Caravaggio's fiery temper would begin his downfall. Always a brawler, after 1603, he would cross the legal authorities in Rome on many occasions. For example, in 1604, he was arrested after throwing a plate of artichokes at a waiter. Despite these legal woes, Caravaggio remained an in-demand artist. Then, in 1606, in an argument over a game of tennis, he killed a man. Murder, even in 17th century Rome, was a serious crime, and Caravaggio, Caravaggio had no choice but to flee. After a brief stop in Naples, he found refuge on the island of Malta, where his artistic reputation opened doors for him and gained commissions. In 1608, his short temper once again led him to violence, and in a tavern brawl, Caravaggio seriously injured a prominent member of Maltese society. Though imprisoned for the offense, he soon escaped and fled to Sicily. As his public behavior grew more erratic, Caravaggio continued to create masterpieces. Yet his artistic successes did not calm his demeanor, and he soon grew increasingly paranoid. During his exile from Rome, he became convinced that agents of the Pope or of the Knights of Malta were out to get him. By 1609, Caravaggio had returned to Naples, where powerful friends protected him and worked to gain a pardon from Pope Paul V. It was in Naples in 1610 that Caravaggio received a papal summons to return to Rome. It appeared that forgiveness was at hand. Caravaggio packed up his final painting, The Martyrdom of St. Ursula, and began his voyage to Rome. He never arrived. In September 1610, he died in the small water town, waterfront town of Porte Ercole. Some accounts of his death say that he was murdered, but others, less dramatically, record that Caravaggio died of a fever. Though his life and career were short and full of turmoil, Caravaggio's work left a profound impact on the art of Western Europe. His revolutionary use of light and shadow, the realism and complexity of his work, would influence countless other artists, including masters such as Rembrandt and Georges de la Tour. The energy and violence and disregard for convention in Caravaggio's art reflected the life of the first great Baroque artist. This has been History Shorts. Thanks for watching.